Rand Paul has joined the fight to get the federal government to release the missing 28 pages of the official 9-11 commission report. And that was blocked and kept secret by the Bush administration. And that's because they know full well that the documents will prove once and for all that the Saudi Arabian government was directly involved in the attacks on September 11th. So very embarrassing, not to mention treasonous, by George Bush and Dick Cheney, who are both implicated here in a massive cover-up. And remember, it was George W. Bush himself, the hypocrite, who had this to say about anyone harboring terrorists. Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. Oh, is that right, Georgie? It's going to be like that, huh? You're either with us or you are with the terrorist. Well, you're the one, George W., who vacations with the Saudi royal family. And you're also the one who used to vacation with the bin Laden family. And you're also going to find yourself in prison if these documents ever see the light of day. This sort of shocking when you read it, as I read it, and we all had our own experience, I had to stop every couple pages and just sort of absorb and try to rearrange my understanding of history for the past uh, 13 years and the years leading up to that. It, it challenges you to rethink everything. And so uh, I think the whole country needs to go through that. That's right. These brave gentlemen have seen the 28 pages and they want the documents released you heard Representative Thomas Massey say right there that it will challenge you to rethink everything. Whatever is in those documents is going to change world history. I want those documents declassified. I'm embarrassed to be associated with a work product that is secret. But wait, there's more. Former Senator Bob Graham who also co-chaired the joint Senate House investigation into the September 11th attacks, he says, I am convinced that there was a direct line between at least some of the terrorists who carried out the September 11th attacks and the government of Saudi Arabia. He called it a smoking gun. And he went on to say, the reason for this cover-up goes right up to the White House. Meanwhile, here's what they are saying in the New York Post. The Saudis deny any role in 9-11, but the CIA in one memo reportedly found incontrovertible evidence that Saudi government officials, not just wealthy Saudi hardliners, but high-level diplomats and intelligence officers employed by the kingdom helped the hijackers both financially and logistically. And if the Saudi government did indeed help finance and train the hijackers, well, that, my friends, that is an act of war. And I'm so glad to see the truth finally beginning to surface. Senator Rand Paul has just introduced legislation called the Transparency for the Families of 9-11 Act. And that would force the Obama administration to release the 28 pages. Over a decade ago, a bipartisan congressional committee investigated the 9-11 attacks and wrote a report. 28 pages from that report have never been released to the public. We're here today to call for the release of those 28 pages. The survivors, civilian heroes, and families of the victims of September 11 terrorist attacks, some of whom are here today, deserve the full truth. We cannot let page after page of blanked out documents be obscured behind a veil, leading these families to wonder if there is additional information surrounding these horrible acts. So there you have it. Rand Paul thinks that we all have the right and that the 9-11 victims' families have the right to see what's in those documents, no matter how embarrassing or how incriminating it might be to George W. Bush. So what do you say there, W? Why don't you let us see what's in those 28 pages? After all, you've got nothing to hide, right? I mean, either you are with us or you're with the terrorist.
It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Well, pancaking almost like a precision implosion. It's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down.